Welcome to my lab review for this, my Cisco Scaling Network course. This is lab 8235, troubleshooting EIGRP for IPv6. So, read through the troubleshoot process, and we're going to try to figure out what three problems we have. So, I'm going to start off with some basic show commands. One of the big ones is show IP EIG. I'm going to do question mark. So I have interfaces, neighbors, and topology, and traffic. Well, I want to go ahead and I want to see my neighbors. Well, one of the problems is with neighbors, I only see EIGR, EIGRP process AS number 11. Well, that doesn't seem too right. We've been using AS number 1 for most of our labs, so you know, let's, let's verify. I'm going to hop over to R2, show EIGRP, e show IP, EIGRP, neighbors, oh, that's weird, here we have process 1. So, either R1 or R2 has an issue with the process ID. Let's go to R3, let's do the same thing. Show IP, EIGRP, neighbors. Okay, so first error that I found happens to be on R1. R1 happens to have process ID, sorry, has the AS number 11 instead of 1. So what I want to do is I want to document, and then I want to fix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this into Notepad. Fix the appropriate number. Get to my configuration terminal. No router, yay, e. IGRP11. And then I want to go ahead and copy and paste this in. Alright, so that formed two new adjacencies. What I want to do now is show my neighbors again. Alright, so I see both my neighbors. So, first uh, device, R1, identify the problem, wrong AS number, proposed solution, remove the incorrect number, and re-add using the correct uh, number. Yes, it was solved. Alright, so this guy is now fixed. Let's go to R2. R2 is showing, again, no adjacencies. Now we're showing an adjacency between R2 and R1, but not R3. So, R2 is not forming an adjacency with R3. Well, why? So let's go ahead and do a, let's do a, question mark, let's do topology. So here we have a default route with three paths to 40. But not the 4228. We have pathways to 225, this guy. So we're not advertising this link between R2 and R3. Well, let's confirm the show run. Okay, well, that's one of the reasons. I'm going to go ahead and get this in the notepad. So I have 40.224, that's that one. I have 31.20, that's going to be this guy right here. I don't have this 
to 28. So we need to add one additional network statement for 40.228. Verify 172, 31, 40, 224 with a wildcard of 0003. All right, let's go ahead and fix that. Config T, router EIGRP1. We're doing a network statement. And now that should form that adjacency between R2 and R3. Let's go ahead and verify. All right, so now we have both our neighbors. Device two error, not forming the adjacencies, missing network statement. Now let's go on to R3. Now let's do show neighbors. We got both our neighbors. Let's do a show IP protocols. Here we have this guy, here we have our passive interface, here's our routing for our neighbors, here's the automatic address summarization, oh, well, that's one thing that we didn't want, we actually do not want it to auto-summarize, so let's go ahead and fix that, config t, router eigrp, e number one, no auto-summary, and give it a second, let it resync. And there we go. Device three happened to be R3. It was auto summarizing our path, so we couldn't do it. We did a no auto summary for EIGRP, and that was all the issue. That is actually all three of our errors in a nutshell. There is no checkable assessment items, but if you have any questions at this lab, please let me know. Thank you.